everybody, welcome back to Drug Talk. As always, I'm your host, Garrett Campbell. Today we're going to be discussing a medication known as phenylzine. Its brand name is Nardil. Now before I talk about the medication itself, just keep in mind that this channel is for information purposes only and not to be used as a source for recommendations for your personal health care. So phenylzine is a hydrazine derivative and a potent monoamine oxidase inhibitor. Its clinical effects in depression may be associated with its action on monoamine oxidase or other pharmacological actions or a mixture of both. In terms of indications for use, phenylzine is typically used in the treatment of atypical depression. Before somebody was to use phenylzine or Nardil, there are some contraindications that they must clear, as well as some precautions and warnings that they should be made aware of. This medication cannot be used within 14 days of another monoamine oxidase inhibitor. We should also wait 14 days between using phenylzine and medications known as SSRIs, or selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. One exception to this rule would be the medication known as fluoxetine. If an individual uses fluoxetine, they should wait five weeks after discontinuing it to use phenylzine because fluoxetine has a longer half-life than the other SSRIs. This medication should not be given with alcohol or other narcotics, so no CNS depressants should be given with this medication. Dextromethorphan, as well as meperidine, are two other medications that should not be given with phenylzine. Phenylzine should not be given to individuals who have congestive heart failure. Elective surgeries with general anesthesia should not be performed during phenylzine therapy or within 10 days after discontinuing phenylzine. This medication should not be given to individuals who have a hypersensitivity to phenylzine or to any other component of the product. Patients using phenylzine should not ingest large quantities of coffee or chocolate. They should also avoid the ingestion of foods that have high concentrations of tyramine or dopamine. Some examples of these would be aged cheese, beer, or wine. Patients with liver disease or who have had abnormal liver function tests should not be given phenylzine. And patients with renal disease or severe renal impairment should also not be given this medication. Now in terms of precautions, patients using phenylzine should avoid using over-the-counter medications that are typically used to treat cough and cold, as well as nasal decongestions. Patients should be made aware that a hypertensive crisis may occur with the use of phenylzine and they should be monitored for this. Immediate discontinuation of the medication may be warranted if this was to occur. Patients should also be made aware that suicidal ideation has been reported with the use of phenylzine and some patients actually experience a worsening of depression. Screening for bipolar disorder should be done before this medication is given to a patient because this medication has the ability to precipitate mixed or manic episodes in these individuals. Now once somebody is cleared of the contraindications and made aware of the precautions and warnings and they start to use phenylzine, they can expect to receive their dose orally. So if somebody is using phenylzine to treat their atypical depression, they would typically start off with a dose of 15 milligrams taken three times daily. The dose can then be rapidly increased to 60 to 90 milligrams per day, again given in divided doses. After maximum therapeutic benefit has been realized with the treatment with phenylzine, the dose can then be decreased down to the minimal effective dose. 15 milligrams per day or 15 milligrams every other day may actually be effective. Now, as with all medications, there are some side effects or adverse reactions that patients may experience while using phenylzine, so I'll go over some of those here now. Some patients may experience orthostatic hypotension, which is a sudden drop in blood pressure when going from a seated to a standing position. Abdominal discomfort and constipation have been reported, and some patients may experience weight gain, dizziness, headache, and somnolence are possibilities with this medication, as well as ejaculation disorders or erectile dysfunction. Some patients may also have a general feeling of fatigue while using phenylzine. Now, some more rare but serious side effects would be one that we already mentioned, which is hypertensive crisis, worsening of depression or suicidal ideation, the development of a seizure, and finally, edema of the glottis. That's all we're going to talk about today with phenylzine or Nardil. 
As always, I'm very thankful you took the time to come by and watch one of my videos. If you found the information valuable and you'd like to help grow this channel, you can like the videos, share the videos, or most importantly, subscribe to the YouTube channel. There's also some links in the description you can check out as well. That's it for today. Take care.